this field, and he has given it everything that he has. Unfortunately, Dennis Sutherland, uh, very happy to make sure that he goes out on the shield. Very, very dominant display, and it's only one winner here. I grew up in Jamaica. Um, Kind of a rough society, but a real society. I think um, there's more truth there than there is in this society. My name is Dennis from Sutherland. I'm from Jamaica. I was born in Montego Bay, grew up in Kingston. I am a BJJ and MMA fighter and coach. When I came here, my life changed completely. And um, I, I don't know if it was necessarily for the better at the time, but now, looking back, all those experiences have made me who I am now. So in 1993, first UFC, I saw, I actually saw it and I was blown away. I remember the intro, I remember the two, the big guy in the poster, the UFC guy. I remember, I don't, I don't remember if that's the one who just beat, just bleed guy. I think I remember him as well. And um, yeah, so I, I I saw a yearn for it from that day until I came to the UK in 1999. Finally, I was able to find a gym, go look for a gym, find a gym, start a training MMA. And you know, I'd done a bit of boxing in Jamaica, so I thought, you know, okay, this guy, I just punch him. And the, my coach at the time was probably about 60 kilos soaking wet. And I was a big, like bigger than I am now. And he just took me down to the floor and punched me in the face repeatedly. Shattered <laughs> anything I call the ego. And uh, you know, I was like, okay, fine, I'm coming back. And that was the start of my MMA journey. Really humbling. And at the age of 32, I finally got my opportunity. I created my opportunity actually. Got married, got a kid, car, house, then I started training because I couldn't justify training before that. Anywho, um, two, three years later, I was at the top of uh, my weight class, like, you know, beating people up. I had big dreams going to the UFC, but what happens is you can't divide your attention when you're doing MMA. When you're trying to become a, a champ, you, you have to give it everything. You have to almost be selfish. And I'm not selfish. <laughs> so I started coaching early. Coaching brings its own responsibilities and, and issues. Um, opening a gym, changing jobs, stopped doing what I was doing at the time, lorry driving, and started doing martial arts, coaching and fighting full time. And it just, um, yeah, it's been a journey. All the lessons I learned from martial arts about the lifestyle, about living that way. And now I'm very uncomfortable living anything but that way. For me, you go all the way. There's no quitting. Because there's no failure unless you quit. But that is the journey. The ups and the downs. And the, the beautiful thing is to watch one person out of a hundred just really benefit from you know all those years of training. All all the people who came along before me passed their knowledge on to me, and I pass my knowledge on to them. If one of them takes it, and does something really good with it, that's brilliant. But when I say take it, what I mean is to actually go all the way in terms of fighting. But most of the people I've trained have taken a little bit of it and just become like, say for example, better husbands. You know, better people. They, they just have a bit more discipline. And um, for me, I, I need to have the, the teeth of the martial arts, the fighting bit. Because that's my passion. But I'm building, rebuilding a fight team. But I'm happy to, you know, happy for my wife to be just completely martial arts. So it's what we do now. Recently, me and uh, my, my friend and um, fellow martial artist, business partner, we've decided to start a, a YouTube channel because you know, how many people can you reach just by, you know, meeting them? 
not as much as you can reach on the internet, you know. So we wanna we have a message we wanna pass on. What we wanna do is not talk about like tutorials or how to do this technique and that technique. That would be part of it, yes, but that's done. Um, there's so many people out there teaching that. We just wanna teach how to be a martial artist. You know, how to get into it, how to conduct yourself and if you do wanna go down the the competition route <laughs> what the pitfalls are, because I know pretty much all of them. <laughs> um, and how to succeed. Again, I've watched all the guys who've succeeded. I've beaten a lot of them, and some of them have beaten me. And the, 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 the key things that they do to, to get where they are, you know, I've got an idea. So we want to pass that on, me and my friend Dave. So, um, Yes, that's my next thing. I do push, I hit, I hit, 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 all the way down. Ah! Yes, sound of music. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> 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 and if he does that, nothing. <laughs> so, this is much nicer than this. Yes, this comes across here. If it's not sweeping me, I'm killing it. Oh. I put weight down on it. Your hand goes on his head. Oh. Stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever it does should hurt. <laughs> All right? Yes.